Fabulous. Hey, it is your girl, the Rising Phoenix Empath, coming at you from Maryland. And I want to jump on real quick and I want to give you 10 indications of a broken man incapable of loving you correctly. And the first indication is he confides about trauma that you know for a fact he has not sought therapy for or have not gotten therapy for. But you know about all of these situations and events in his life that affected him in a very negative way that he has never sought help for. That's an indication that he is broken, unhealed, and unable to love you correctly. Number two, a serial cheater, somebody who is hypersexual. Let me explain. We are human beings and we love physical intimacy as well as emotional intimacy. But a person that can be physically intimate with multiple people and walk away from those experiences without that heart chakra being activated, walk away from those experiences without feeling any sense of connection to these people, that is an indication that this person is dealing with very heavy, heavy trauma and does not really have the ability and tools to love you appropriately because sex was created to create covenants. It is a covenant creator and if this person can be hypersexual and have all of these experiences with all of these people and walk away unscathed with no feelings, that is a red flag. Number three, he's always a victim. There's never any accountability, okay? Number four, specifically if there were sexual abuse, okay, that took place as a child and he did not go to therapy, he did not seek help and get therapy, that is a big, big red flag that he is still broken and unable to, uh, to, you know, incapable of love and loving you correctly. And I'm not demonizing victims here because if this happened to this person, then he was indeed a victim. But I want you to know we have to be wise. And it's not about victimizing the victims, right? Because while our hearts go out to those people, at the end of the day, as an adult, you have a choice to become a better person and not be driven by your traumas and it's a red flag and a sign of trouble ahead if this person have it has experienced heavy you know any type of sexual trauma as a child that has never been processed or dealt with appropriately it's a red flag and it's above your pay grade number five you feel he resents you because he does he does not like you he loves you he can, he feels the love, but he cannot, he doesn't have it within him to operate in that love, to act that love out in verb, in a verb word, okay? Actions, right? A verb is an action word. He cannot act the love out. He can only feel it and speak it, right? And he resents you. He's mad at you because you've been able to activate that heart chakra like it was activated when he experienced that trauma as a child. And whether that hot heart activation is good or bad, negative or positive, it doesn't matter. They can't even decipher between the two. As soon as that chakra, that heart chakra is activated, they go into full protective mode right and they resent you for being able to pull out a level of emotion that would make them vulnerable to you that's why they're mad at you number six he is in love with you but at any given opportunity will betray you he will betray you with your siblings he will betray you with your cousins he will betray you with your friends He'll betray you with your neighbors. He'll betray you with associates. He'll betray you with your enemies. And if, if given any opportunity to have one up on you, he's going to take it. And it's a form of self-sabotage because he's really protecting himself from the love. And so if I do all of these horrible things to this person, I can't take this person seriously. I'm destroying the relationship. I'm destroying in the spirit realm any connection I have with this person by doing these horrible acts with these people that I know resent and hate this person, okay? Number seven, he actually is a good guy to everybody else. People know this guy. He's a good guy. 
everybody loves him. You you say his name, oh yeah, I know so and so. He's a great guy, and he is a good guy. But to you, you see and have experienced something totally different that nobody else will see or experience. You have experienced firsthand and saw the darkest parts of this person's soul. And nobody else will get to see that because, see, you were safe. You were his safe place. And he resents you. Again, he resents you for that. So you have been able to see a parts of him that nobody else sees. So you know the darkness within this person. And you know the goodness within him too. And if you told some of the people some of your experiences, people wouldn't even believe you because he's such a good guy to the community. He's such a good guy to the public, right? This is a sign. This is a sign that this guy is broken and cannot love you appropriately. Number eight, you come second to everyone. You come second to his job. You come second to his friends. You come second to even his fake friends. You come second to his mistresses and to his side chicks. You come second to everybody. You'll never come first. You'll come second, third, and fourth to everybody. Okay, number nine, he's jealous of you. He's jealous of your accomplishments. He's jealous of your gifts. He's jealous of you as an individual. He hates to see you celebrated and he himself will never celebrate you. As a matter of fact, he'll put you down. As a matter of fact, he'll, he'll discourage you from pursuing your goals and aspirations in life because he knows that if you grow to become the woman that he knows you can be, that it is curtains for him. And number 10, last but not least, he never reciprocates e equally or more. He'll never reciprocate e equally or more. You'll do something for him and yeah, he can help. He'll do something back, a kind gesture back, but it will never be equally or more than you do because this person is wired to only care for himself. But let me take that back. He'll only care. He'll never reciprocate to you because you're home and he knows deep down he's safe, but he resents that. But he'll, he'll do more than reciprocate for anybody else outside of you to those people that he knows would never do the same measure for him. He'll do those things for them. He'll go out of his way for everybody else except for you. That's an indication of a man who is so broken that he is incapable of love and definitely incapable of loving you um, appropriately and correctly. And let me just say, I know it's not just men, but I'm a woman. I'm I'm doing these this video um, from a woman's standpoint, but I understand that there are some broken women out here that are man eaters that are doing the same thing to men. I'm under, I'm acknowledging that. So this is not a man hating video. I want you to know that this is a brokenness hating video. Deal with your issues and deal with your traumas and to the young women specifically in your 20s, in your 30s, who have not had any kids yet and you're fighting to be in this relationship. And I named some things that described your partner, run, run. This is above your pay grade. You cannot heal anybody. You cannot help anybody. And you cannot love the pain and brokenness out of this person. It's not your fault that this thing happened to you. And there is a level of guilt that you may feel because he entrusted to these things to you in confidence and you don't want to let them go. But I'm here to let you, let you know that marrying these people, having babies with these people will give you nothing but a long life of grief and co-parenting with somebody who hates you, resents you, and that will forever blame you for retracting your love from them. Run, save yourselves because it's a horrible, horrible thing to be in a situation where you are co-parenting with somebody who is your biggest op. And I'm not talking about all men, I'm talking about broken men. And again, I know this refers to women too. It goes both ways, but I'm telling my story and telling this, give, doing this video from a woman's point of view, ladies, be careful who you have babies with. Find somebody to love that can love on your frequency. I hope this video was helpful. I love you. Until next time.